continue to discuss the debt weight loss due to subsidiaries. So here is the demand and supply curve again. And again, the intersection points telling us what is the equilibrium quantity the market is going to produce and also the price the product is being sold. Now, what if there is a government subsidiaries? What will happen to this curve? The answer is the supply curve will shift downward like this. But there is no change in the demand curve. How come? This is because, for example, consider this. If we are going to produce n product here, before there is any subsidiaries, the marginal cost of this product will be at this level. Right? This is because the supply curve actually represents the marginal cost of producing the end product. But now due to the government subsidiary, it means that the government is going to pay for this amount. Right? So the producer only has to pay for this amount. So it means that the producer's marginal cost will become this. So similar for every point, as a result, the supply curve will shift downwards, but this amount, which is paid by the government. Now let's look at the total society benefits. So before there is any subsidiary, again, we know that the marginal, the producer surplus is going to be this area, which is branded by the original supply curve. And the total uh, consumer surplus is going to be this area, which again bounded by the demand curve and the equilibrium line. Now when the supply cur is curve is shift, while the demand is still the same, it means this point will become the new equilibrium. So as a result, the society is going to produce this amount of product, and the product will be priced less expensive at this level. Then what is the producer's surplus? The surplus is going to be those below this line, right, for the producer. And the surplus for the consumer is going to be those above this line, which is this one. So you can see that the total society surplus is more. Why? Because this area definitely is larger than this area. This, but is this is the real society benefit? No. Why we have an extra surplus? This is because the government is paying for this amount. And think about this. Now the society is producing the goods at this quantity. So it means that the government also has to subsidize this region. Okay, so this dead weight loss is due to overproduction. How come this area is the dead weight loss? It's because those total surplus enjoyed by the consumer and producer is increased by this area. However, the government had to pay not just this area, but also this dead weight loss area.